In the first round of competition, Team USA and San Jose native Michael Connerton's robot literally destroyed his competition. His competitor tapped out, and Connerton moves on to round two of his event. It's always intimidating. Uh, it's always tough to, to get the nerve up, you know, first time, uh, especially in a big event like this, to be able to actually, uh, you know, start the show off. And uh, it always feels good to come up with a, a win. Welcome to the Robo Games. After a five year hiatus, in part due to the pandemic, they're back. Over the next four days of competition at the Alameda County Fairgrounds, 179 teams from 20 countries will compete for gold, silver, and bronze in 54 events. David Calkins founded the games in 2004. Little bug robots that are this big, that have a solar panel on them, and it's just which robot can go fastest using the, the same solar panel with the same sunlight. All the way up to these big monster machines in the combat competition, always a crowd favorite. All the way up to 250 pound robots, uh, which can absolutely liquefy a human being. This Canadian husband and wife team says it isn't just about taking out the competitor's robot. It's also to prove your concept can work. There's a lot of strategy that goes into it, trying to pick our bot that, well, one that we can build. This is our first time at Robo Games, so we want to be competitive. We have your national comp uh, competition in Brazil, and this is how we call it the world champion. The team from Brazil is ready to defend several of its world titles. But they know over the past five years, the technology has improved. So they're excited to see how the competition stacks up. We want to see how it's going, how our robots go, and how the other robots are going, because it's very different than here to Brazil. At the Robo Games, Anton Hassan, ABC7 News.